Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 43 of my Terraria Let's Play series. And finally at the end or near the end of the last episode, I was able to defeat uh, Duke Fishron, if I'm remembering the name right, enough times to be able to get not only the trophy... Ta-da! But also, I get off of there. I don't need torches there. I need them here and here. Uh, but also, I was able to get the statue, and that's not the right spot for it. Or not the statue, but the uh, the mask. Come on, place there. There we go. So here's the mask. Looks pretty interesting. That Sharknado is kind of annoying when I'm trying to look at something. So this was... Duke Fishron. Save. Alright. Now, there is something I want to try to knock out today. And hopefully it'll be a little bit on the easy side. I am going to see if I can get myself some grasshoppers. And apparently you get that by breaking grass. This is obviously not grass, this is blowing mushrooms. But I know where there is some grass, over in the hollow. But also, well I, can, I suppose I could also break that grass. Uh, Another thing over in the hollow that I want to try to take care of today is apparently there is a second variety of uh, glowworm or, or lightning bug or whatever it's called that is only obtained in the hollow. So I'm going to have to stick around there if I want to get it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to spend all episode just trying to get some uh, two hopefully relatively simple critters. If if I don't get it in a reasonable amount of time, I'll be moving on to another project. But I I do want to see if I can at least get those today. So that's what I'm going to do in the immediate future. So I'm going to head over to the hollow. And stick around maybe for a couple nights. Hopefully be able to get some uh, lightning bug or glowworm, whatever they're called. Uh, maybe even more than one, who knows. Uh, but I will be back. And whether I get some or both of those things or not, uh, I have a few other things in, in my tentative list of things planned for today. But... First off, I wanted to take care of getting those two critters. So I'm going to go see if I can do that, and I'll be right back. I just got assailed by some pretty fantastically large slimes, and I have to assume that they're new because I've never seen them before. They were called rainbow slimes, and they dropped these things called rainbow bricks, uh, which I presume can be placed. Oh, look at that! Uh, if I can manage to hit record in time before my little Sharknado destroys it, I will try to uh, get what the rainbow slime looks like on camera so you guys know what it is. But it's it's notably larger than the uh, the other slimes. At first I thought it was a boss slime of some sort, but it wasn't. It was just a new mob for the hollow, or at least new to me. Maybe it's been around for a while and I just have never seen it. Who knows? But uh, if it comes back while I'm here, I will show you guys. And in the meantime, I'll be right back. Here we go. A rainbow slime. It changes all kinds of different colors. 
And then when it dies, you actually get a, a fair amount of stuff from it. Let's see here. I got 20 silver. Whoa. Ah, rain cloud, go away. Uh, and about 30 of those rainbow bricks. So I think I'm going to stick around here until, regardless of whether I get a uh, lightning bug or whatever it is, uh, I think I'm going to stick around until I can find, I don't know, mm, 250-ish of those rainbow bricks. So, I have several things that I want to take care of while I'm here now, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm going to go, oh, I also am probably going to need to get a banner from one of them. Anyway, I'm going to get back to what I'm doing here and I'll be back. So apparently these rainbow slimes will only spawn while it's raining or if the hollow is in a, uh, it's a hollow snow biome uh, while it's blizzarding, whatever. When it's precipitating, that's the only time that they'll spawn. So that's probably why I've never encountered them before. Uh, they were apparently introduced in 1.2. So they've been around for a while. I just have never seen them before. So that's kind of neat. Uh, also, I have been playing with my uh, Wisp, the light guy, by making him hide behind the clouds and do a little peak dance just because... You know, it's, it's a little entertainment. I'm basically just standing here anyway. But uh, now that it's daytime again, maybe the rainbow slimes will start spawning again because it was a full moon last night and I was getting inundated with werewolves. So uh, between those and the gastropods, I have a feeling the, the quantities, the values for the mobs uh, we're getting chewed up by those, and so they weren't spawning the rainbow slimes. So I'm going to keep waiting for some more rainbow slimes and look around to see if I can find some uh, of the glowworms or whatever they are. And I'll be back. All right. Uh, it has stopped raining, obviously. And uh, I only got, let's see here... 174 of these things, so I'm definitely going to be sticking around here until it rains again, which is fine. Uh, but I have one other thing that I wanted to do today, and that is get a uh, uh, another, well, probably several more of the uh, mechanical eyes so I can summon the twins, because... I still need the trophy for, uh, uh, is it spasmatism or retinaser? I keep forgetting. Uh, it's been a while anyway. But in order to get those, I need to go underground and, uh, fight mobs in the underground hollow so I can get the souls of light. So that's where I'm going. Uh, one of the things I wanted to take care of today was that, uh, but there is... Now, because of the uh, the rainbow bricks, uh, I have one other thing that I want to see if I can accomplish today. There are a lot of blocks and items in the game dealing with colors and rainbows and things like that. The different gems and the uh, the stained glass and uh, and all that kind of stuff. There's even ways to make waterfalls change color and. Uh, what I want to do is make a showcase of that, but because of the waterfalls, it's going to probably have to be a sort of a tall showcase. Uh, but in order to make uh, this uh, one item uh, that fits into the category called the Rainbow Rod, I'm going to need Souls of Sight anyway. 20 of them. Conveniently, they come from the twins. So... All the more reason for me to go after the souls of light. Uh, so I'm going to head underground while it's nighttime, uh, and I have this so I can tell what time it is uh, while I'm down there. 9:40 p. 
p.m. right now. Uh, so I'm going to get some souls of light, a whole bunch of them if I can, and then I will be right back. All right, I now have enough uh, souls of light to make six mechanical eyes. Or no, five mechanical eyes, I'm sorry. Five times six makes 30, so I had 32, so it's five. Anyway, uh, let's put these back in here. And uh, there is one other thing that I wanted to do during the fight with uh, the twins. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit better on the uh, Nimbus rod here because I want to see if I can uh, use it because one of the two eyes tends to stay in one place for the most part uh, and I want to try to exploit that by having uh, some of the clouds so let's see if we can no no I need more money um so hopefully with these five i should be able to get the trophy if not i don't know what to say uh let's see here oh i also got a hallowed key mold let's grab a couple platinum that should be enough and see if i can get something a little bit better oh and let's not leave the nimbus rod laying on the floor all right, try this again. Murderous, so that's 42. Mystic, that's 44. That's, I think that's pretty close to uh, as high as it gets. I think it gets up to mythical. I'll do it a few more times, see if I can find something. Oh no! <laughs> that was horrible. Let's try this again. Without the oops. Where is my Nimbus rod? Um. Hello? Uh oh. Let's go back down there and see if... Ah, there it is. Ah, panicked. That's all right. I'm going to see if I can get something better on this. Uh, and I'll be right back. All right. I decided to just stick with the demonic. That's That seems to be good enough. Uh, plus 14% damage is pretty good. Uh, and I also... Decided to upgrade the Tempest staff so I could get a better uh, Sharknado. Uh, and I got Masterful on that. I'm going to just stop while I'm ahead. Uh, so now I just have to wait for the sun there to go ahead and set. And I should be good to go. So I'm going to clear out some inventories. Uh, I have a very full safe and a very full pig bank, piggy bank. And... I want to clear those out so I have room for other stuff. So I'll be back. All right. So here's what I wanted to do. Uh, let's go ahead and get that guy summoned. And buff up. And summon one of these. And there we go. That should do it. With any luck, uh, that should be. Oh, look at all those numbers. There we go. That's how to do it. All right. I'm digging the Nimbus Rod a little bit more than I did before. So let's put. Couple more up there and see how long this takes. Awesome. Oh, now he's going to go straight above.
That took very little time. I got the twin mask, but no trophy. So I'm going to go ahead and fight him a few more times, and hopefully uh, this will get me the other trophy that I'm looking for. I'll be back. Yes! I got it, for sure. I already knew I had one of them. Now I've got both of them, so definitely, hands down, I have the correct trophy. So let's go put that in place. I don't even need to fight him again. That's that's awesome. Well, unless something happens. Uh, so just in case something does happen, I'm going to keep this mechanical eye. Just hold on to it, just just in case. But now, I can actually, ah, let me up, get up here, and place the Spasmatism Trophy. Yes! Okay, so I need another sign for Spasmatism. <sighs> I think I've tried, I think I've killed the twins about 30 times now. And, and that's how long it took me to get the trophy. And that's fine. I got it eventually, so I'm happy. Uh, now, I need to make a sign. There it is. Let's go ahead and make a few of them. Oops. Oh, and I have a bunch more hollowed bars. All right. So let's put this in place. And there we go. Now, let's see here. That was retinazer, so it's spasmatism. I hope. I hope that's how to spell it. Let's find out. Spaz... Ah. Spasmatism. Excellent. Ah. <sighs> It's complete. It is done. And as a matter of fact, just to make things look even, I'm even going to put in another copy of the twins mask just to have it, since I've got one anyway and they don't sell for anything. Oops. Let me out. Let me out. So now... I need to go get a, uh, oh no, a goblin army. I need to go get uh, a grasshopper, for one, uh, some of those lightning bugs, and also I apparently need a few more souls of light because uh, they are also needed for making that rainbow wand. So I need, let's see here, eight more of them. But for right now, I'm going to deal with a goblin invasion. So I'll be back. All right, it is raining. So back off to the hollow I go. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more of those uh, rainbow blocks. Those are pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I want to try to get, I guess, about 250 or so before I'm done with today's episode. So that's one of my goals now. So I will go kill some rainbow slimes, and I'll be back. All right, I have gotten plenty of souls of light, at least for right now, anyway. Uh, and I have all the components I need to make this thing. It is called the Rainbow Rod. And what it does is, if I shoot like this, you get this uh, really bright, wispy particle effect. And uh, under these uh, lighting conditions, it's not as obvious. So let's see here. Uh, color, retro, maybe trippy might work. No, it's not going to show up like that. So, how's it looking here? Okay, you can sort of see it there. The colors are slightly changing. 
Let's see if I can find which one of these is best. I, I think I was on color before, but let's find out. Well, you can definitely see that the light is changing color in the room and some of the edges of the particles are changing color. Uh, let's try the other two. Might as well do all of them just to see here. Whoops. Well, it's a little bit more obvious that there's color going on. All right, and the final one was the retro. So let's try this. Eh, well, at least you can tell. But this is just one of the several things that I wanted to make. Uh, in order to have the rainbow room. Now, uh, I don't know exactly how tall I want this to be to accommodate the waterfalls. Uh, I'm going to put it over here in this empty area off to the left of these structures. And I will just put a door right here so I can walk straight out to it. Uh, but I need to work out the design because there are several things that need to go in there. Uh, obviously the rainbow bricks, the rainbow brick walls, which are just use these to make that. And there you go. You can make them back into the rainbow bricks, which is nice. Uh, there's the rainbow rod. There's that thing that shoots the, the giant rainbow, which I cannot remember what that was called. Uh, but I am pretty sure I kept it somewhere, so I'll have to figure out where I put it. Uh, but there are also lots of things to uh, work with on the different crystal types, and I have been amassing quite a few of those uh, with these different colors here. Uh, and, and there's just a lot of stuff to do with colors, so I'm going to figure out all the different things that I want to include and see how big of an area I need for the showcase and I'll be back okay so as it turns out there is a lot more to deal with the the gems and the the rainbow type stuff and and the things that you can make with them uh, than I had anticipated and remembered even. Uh, I knew there were several, but I did not have any idea there were quite that many. So what I'm going to do is deal with those probably with the next episode. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to force myself to do it that way. I cover that because that's another part of the reason why I'm uh, going with the series is I'm trying to do all the things. So... It, it wouldn't hurt to at least go ahead and get those knocked out. I'll do the showcase in the next episode. Uh, I know today I wanted to get the grasshopper, and I determined it is, in fact, called the lightning bug. The fireflies are the ones that I already have. I need lightning bugs. Uh, I, I wanted to get those, but I, I got sidetracked and came up with some more projects today and upgraded some gear. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff done. It's just... Uh, not the stuff that I came in wanting to do, but that's all right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do rainbow slash gem showcase. There we go. That way that's on my to-do list. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can, either in the comments or in a video, whatever. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. So thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.